Hi, welcome to Holy Hands Puppet Ministry. Today we have another lesson for you kids. And the lesson is going to be introduced to us by our dear friend Sally. Hey Sally. Hi Pastor John, how are you? I'm good. Hi kids. And the kids are doing good too, I'm sure. Let's get Pastor John, here's the lesson I'd like us to talk about today. Okay, what is it? The Trinity. Can you explain that to me? Wow, Sally. Wow. Kids, did you ever hear the word Trinity before? Okay. Here's Trinity. When we understand God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, who is God the Son? Jesus. That's right. And God the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Yeah. And the God the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit of God, right? That's right. Kids, how can we understand the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as three in one? That all three of them are the same and yet uniquely different. This is how. If you think of water, Water comes in three forms. Did you know that, kids? Water comes in three forms, but it's still water. The first way that we understand water is the liquid form, the kind that you drink, right? You put it in the cup from the drain, from the sink, and then you drink it. Then the second way, what's another way that we think of water? Uh, I know, Pastor John. Okay, what is it? Uh, ice. That's right. Did you know that ice is also water? But it feels different. It's cold. You can barely hold it. And then you can't, if, you, if you're if you going to put it in your mouth, you have to crunch it, right? And some people don't have strong enough teeth to crunch ice. So you have the water that you can drink, the water that is frozen, it's ice, that you can put it in a cup and make your water or drink uh your punch uh, cold, let's say, and then there's one more way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I'm not sure. Kids, do you know the third way that we understand water? When you ever make, if you've ever made uh, uh, tea before, right, and you're boiling water, what comes out of the teapot? Uh, 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 um, steam. That's right. Vapor. Steam. When we understand vapor, steam, or, or a cloud, right? That's the same thing. That is another way that we understand water. So there's ice, there's, there's water, the liquid that we drink, and then there's the steam. All three of them are the same. They're all water, but all three of them have a unique place. So... Our understanding in the Bible is that there is the Father, there is the Son, Jesus, and there is the Holy Spirit. All three of them have their unique place, but yet all three of them are truly one. They are God, but manifested in different ways. They are shown to us in different ways. That's what manifested means, to be shown to us in different ways. So, for example... In the Old Testament, the people understood God in, you know, in heaven, but they couldn't see God. Well, when Jesus came to the earth, he came and he allowed us to see him, to see, to hear him, to touch him. And then everything Jesus is, then that gives us the full understanding of who God is. And then lastly, now that Jesus returned to heaven, his Holy Spirit has come unto all mankind who believe in Him, who have accepted Him as Savior, and then He ministers to us. So whenever you're hurt, whenever you're sad, whenever you're lonely, whenever you pray, the Holy Spirit of God will touch you, will comfort you, will counsel you, and that's the Holy Spirit. Wow, Pastor John, you, you helped me understand so much better. Because I was confused at first, but now that really makes sense. Three 
in one. There's water, ice, and steam, but they're all water. Wow. Kids, you're going to have that lesson today. And I know it's still going to be a mystery somewhat. And it's going to be a mystery until we get to heaven. But truly, that's the very simple way that we can understand the Trinity. All right? Blessings upon you. Have a wonderful day.